Good freaking morning, everybody. So it's uh, it's it's 4:24 a.m. and I am pretty sure, quite confident that my buddies hate me for having them wake up so early. But you know what I'm gonna try and do is bribe their friendship back by giving them energy drinks. That's what I'm gonna try and do. So I brought them some Ray's energy drinks, but I'm actually in a parking lot right now. Uh, probably from how you saw the title of the video. But, uh, you know, we are somewhere super special. Somewhere that has not been gone to a lot before. Let's go. What? Walmart? What are you doing here? No. The answer is no. We're not doing a Walmart challenge. I'm about sick of seeing the same old freaking Walmart challenges on YouTube. I'm, I'm sick of them. Oh, oh, I've only got this much money and I'm gonna go in here and buy some baits. So oh, I've only got this much money. Here guys, pick up my baits. How many times are we gonna do the same thing over and over? I'm sorry, but it's a fishing channel. Let's fish. Don't do the same challenges over and over. It's played out. Yeah, I've got a little got a little animosity going on towards some of these challenge videos. But no. I just I, I don't want I don't want to do that. I I've got different ideas for challenge videos and that is not one of them because there's so many of them and there's so many I mean, I'm sure that I'm going to duplicate challenges that are out there. But how many times are we going to go into Walmart? How many times are we going to go into Academy? Oh, I've only got this much money, guys. What are we going to get today? No, how many times are we going to do that? It's played out. It's dumb. I don't enjoy it. I'm sorry. Had to get that off my chest. <laughs> so now I'm just going to wait for these guys to show up. And uh, we're going to drink some energy drinks and get out and invade some ponds. So I'll see you guys in a second. Which for me will be more like 20 minutes until they're here. But it's okay. It's all right. Let's, let's just wait here for him. Hey, Peyton. Hey. I have a drink for you. You do? I do. Hey, John. This looks froggy AF has frick. I wish I would have got that, but he walked into a spider web and freaked out. John does not like spiders. Good morning. I'm just just turning my camera on. We've got a little bit of footage already. Uh, the big camera and Alex has had his GoPro on. But we've already been asked to leave a golf course. Which I think we all expected anyway, so no hard feelings. Now we're fishing some little residential ponds. See if we can get on something. We on the board. Fly over. A scum frog, folks. Little guy. Little dinker. Dark. Dark and pretty. I'm sorry about this.
Let me tell you something about that bite. <laughs> he took that. Huh? Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, well, here's the thing about that bite. He probably had it for two whole seconds. I thought it was just another nibble, and I didn't see it. So I reeled up that slack and set it, and he was there. Thank goodness for braid and fast reel in a pond like this. Just gotta fish it smart. There we go. Dang. Alex is getting it done today. Starting to feel like a rookie. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. That is a better fish. Who, buddy? Look at all that. Braid. Heavy rod. Like I said, for this kind of water, a lot of vegetation, a lot of moss on it, you're gonna want that. You're gonna want that heavy reel or that fast reel, that heavy rod. Man. And you're gonna want that braid. He is pretty, look how dark he is. Pretty fish, pretty fish. I'm sorry for this. Thank you. Kermie is just not, not the sauce today. Oh. Alex. Nice, dark, and green. Good hook set. Not a bad, not a bad start. Let's get you back in the water. Sorry for the kasploosh. Hmm. Little guy. Dark. Uh, I am sorry. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry for this. What you? Uh, what's your hookup ratio today? You think? Seventy-five percent. Three fish, four bites. Yep. Yep. Seventy-five. Um. I was talking to Peyton earlier. I was talking about uh, the frogs and how. You kind of tipped me off to slowing them down. Yep. For one, because that was one thing that he was kind of doing differently, fishing super fast. I don't know why this won't charge. But uh, something I just mentioned on my GoPro video, which I'll, I'll probably just put it on here on the big camera, is oh, that is super hot. Super hot. Um, I have fished a lot of different frogs this year right i know you have to um but like from lunker hunt to booyah to live target and the best ever since i switched over to the scum frog popper that's when i've had the best hookup ratio you've seen that you know so what do you attribute that to well i think i attribute it to the super soft body For one thing they're not extremely durable okay the eye has already come off of this one <laughs> okay just from today but this guy was seven, eight bucks. That's it. For this size of frog, for this weight, for these size of hooks, on live target, on bunker hunt, you're paying over 10 bucks. Easy. The bodies are not as soft. 
and I think that because of the soft body, that's what's increased the hookup ratio. So, no trailer hooks, right? Nope, no trailers. Another thing today is I have really slowed down on my hook sets too. Really slowed down my hook sets. The one that I missed was because I went too fast. So, uh oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh no. You caught a frog? Almost, yeah. The uh, guy's Peyton is Peyton is frog fishing and hooked up on a frog. <laughs> There's a big one. So I don't I don't know if that's an insult to injury kind of moment or uh You've had the most you, Yeah, you've had more bites than anybody. To, it goes back to what we talked to and and I don't know if it'll be the last video but a previous video that you don't have to spend a fortune in order to get on fish. Now, you see guys buying hundred dollar swim baits and while that would be cool to have in your tackle box is it really practical I could think of a lot of things I'd rather do with a hundred bucks John what'd you throw black and blue stick bait black and blue Sanko Texas rig in this there's one man with balls enough to do that it's Peyton Peyton. Peyton's the man to do it. John's just lucky enough to catch it. Where he's talking about it, Paul. I did it already. It didn't catch me. Ooh. Get him up, get him up. I literally just said to John, I said it's 7 o'clock. Do you want to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's our sign right uh -oh. there. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> Okay, well, I, maybe we don't move. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we don't move, Peyton. Look, John's got a flathead. Oh. What? <laughs> I'll throw a plastic on this pond for 15 Did minutes we... and... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whack! <laughs> hey, what you using there, Peyton? That's a uh, black and blue swim jig. Oh. You've been blacklisted. Mmm. <laughs> yes, I do. Big long one, side pocket. Here you go, right up front. <laughs> stickery, stickery, dickery dock. Juice bond, John. It looks. It looks. Oh, nice. Well, so far we have. Uh, fished a golf course pond that we were politely asked to leave. I'm gonna slip. I'm gonna walk down here. Um, and then we went down across some apartment ponds and had some luck. And now we are at our second golf course pond. That's, that's looking backyards. All right, I'm gonna... Challenge is accepted. Peyton's calling his shot. Okay. All right, so Peyton has called his shot. John has called his shot. I'm walking over here with John. This is some green water. He says first cast with his black and blue Senko Tejas rig. Send it. <sighs> this is taking forever. Oh. I thought you were just messing around. I really wasn't. <laughs> Good night. There's something in here. We'll slow it down for him. Jeez. He didn't catch one on his first cast. Well, I had so now he's saying second cast. He did have a couple of bites. I'm guessing bluegill. I'm guessing the face. Okay. Waiting. Oh, oh, 
God. That's going to leave a mark. John, I have one. No shit. Let's go. Good fish? Yeah. Let's go, Alex. Get it done. That is a bass. My line was stuck up in that tree. I, <laughs> I got that on camera. You did? I did. I'm glad you did. I caught the tail end of it. That's great. I love that. Golly, that dude. Of, John? John, I got a fish. John, I got a fish. Perfect. It was almost a botched cast, too. Yeah, almost. Switched over from that Senko to Crack and Crawl. Huh? Well, you surprised me, little guy. Thank you. That was a shock. It was a botched cast. Got my line up in the tree. Dropped it right over there in the middle of those weeds over there. You just swam with it. There's another bite right there. He's got it. Got him. Not a huge one. But I'll take it. Somebody else's line in his gut there. Pretty good little fish. Pretty. Look at that. He's got some, some bait. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's somebody's stick bait. I just pulled somebody's stick bait out of a freaking fish. That is crazy. That is crazy. I just pulled that out of that fish right there. Put it back in the water so you can. Nice. I just pulled that out of a fish. That's a first. Peyton got himself one. Had a boy. Oh, nice fish, dude. Well, they had to break out the worm. You caught him on a Mondo worm? Yep. That's like a unicorn to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Oh, nice. Nicely done. About time. Were you on a drought? Huh? Were you on a drought? Uh, I landed one earlier. On the frog? A little dink fish? No. Uh -huh. I caught him on this one jig again. Hey. But it felt good. Oh, you guys need to leave? Time is. Oh man, I gotta get back. I gotta get to work.